So tonight I was uh, part of the crowd in the Miami Refresh Tech Community Meetup and we were talking about the innovations in mobile payment solutions. We had a panel of experts, um, some people, uh, there was somebody from Square, there was somebody from MasterCard, um, there was somebody uh, that works doing um, mobile payment solutions in Latin America, and there was a Bitcoin expert. And from the crowd and the reactions of on the answers, every time questions were asked on uh, the latest innovations and the challenges on the mobile payment space, um, you could hear that every time the Bitcoin expert happened to say how Bitcoin already had done this and uh, quite easily actually and a long time ago and how we were beyond this stuff, uh, it made the the Bitcoin uh, people and <laughs> Bitcoin uh, technology sound uh, almost incredible and, and awkward and uh, funny. People kind of laughed about it, I think. And I think the reason for this is uh, when you're, you're seeing these uh, other experts, uh, the Square guy, you know, they just got um, massive amounts of money. Um, you have people from Mastercard who, who have been doing this and they sound, you know, so confident and very experienced in the space. And they're talking about these chips that are, you know, tamper-proof in phones and how what amazing innovation. They keep talking about hardware and they keep talking about their clearing houses and uh, all these uh, things that are still uh, very, very old. And then it, it occurs to me that it sounds so weird to talk about Bitcoin because it's like comparing the fax machine to email or the internet itself. Bitcoin is smart money. Bitcoin is programmable money. Therefore, it's very malleable and it's very capable of adapting and evolving. Um, so that's why it's everything and more. Um, it's a mobile payment solution. It is a currency, it is a payment network, it is a place to store agreements of ownership between parties. And uh, look, I, today I, I just tried a, a decentralized stock market uh, in, at, at counterparty.io and this is already working and uh, um, we are moving at an exponential pace. That's something you cannot do with, with uh, the thinking that the current payment industry has. Uh, they're moving uh, slow and they're moving very slow because they're also victims of regulation. Um, software developers, uh, we just think of how to solve problems uh, in very creative forms using uh, software, using programming languages. So uh, it's, it was, I think, a very unfair comparison, but one that I hope that Refresh Miami uh, understands um, after this, this video, you are comparing the fax machine to the internet um, when, when you put Bitcoin and other payment solutions together.